Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our subject, Entrepreneurship. We will be together for the whole semester. But before we proceed, let us acknowledge first the guidance of our Almighty Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Father in Heaven, we are here before Thee. Help us to study well. Help us to be obedient and honest. Help us to love one another. Bless our teacher. Bless our school. Bless our country. And bring us all to heaven. Amen. Hello once again. Good morning. How are you this morning? I hope and wish everybody is in good health, alive and kicking, despite of our situation that we are facing right now. Stay safe, Ugamping Tang Tanan. Anyway, my name is Razel M. Hamorol. I live in Poroksay, Stalik, Oroqueta City. I graduated Bachelor of Science in Commerce at Lisa Yurikagayan University year 1998 and landed my first job at Titan Travel Agency as a bookkeeper for almost two years. I graduated my Master's in Business Administration or what we call MBA at Misamis University, Uzami City, last March 2020. I would like to give you a short overview of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the creation of an innovative economic organization or network of organizations for the purpose of gain of growth and their conditions of risk or uncertainty. In other words, an opportunity is the creation of an idea. To begin a business, a venture is a business undertaking involving rest. Have you ever dreamed of becoming the next multi-millionaire? If you're thinking that winning the lottery is the only way to become one, well, think again. It is not chances that give you millions. Instead, being a millionaire is a result of hard work and determination. Starting your own business is a good start towards fulfilling your dreams. Entrepreneurship is the way. You may often hear the word entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. But what does it really mean? You may refer to an entrepreneur as the person managing the business and entrepreneurship as the business venture. Some say there is no difference. So what these lessons provide you toward reaching your dreams? Number one, it outlines the concepts and basic principles and processes of developing a business plan. Second, it helps you understand the environment and market in your locality as a factor in developing a business concept. Third, it allows you to experience starting and operating your own business. Substantial knowledge of entrepreneur principles and processes is important. This increases the chances of making your business successful. So in this lesson, you are guided with a set of learning icons that will help you understand the underlying principles of entrepreneurship. Unsa may ang inyong hibalan sa entrepreneurship na subject? So, what I need to know. So, businesses are the backbone of the economy. Entrepreneurs plays an important role in developing the economy through providing the needed products and services, including the solution to the problem of and employment. Entrepreneurs are encouraged by the economy because they can provide a lot of opportunities for the unemployed young people. It will increase in per capita income, higher standard of living, and increased individual saving. Revenue to the government in the form of income tax, value-added tax, export duties, import duties, and balance regional development. So when we talk about revenue, 
That is the money you get from selling the product. So that is what we call revenue. After this lesson, the learner should be able to discuss the relevance of the course. And second, you can explain the key concepts of common competencies. And then you can explain the core competencies in entrepreneurship. And you can explore job opportunities for entrepreneurship as a career. So, in going through this lesson, you have to extend your patience in understanding, analyzing what you are uh, learning. So, you can um, apply your learning in some of the activities that we are uh, going to apply in our subject, entrepreneurship. Okay, so... Let's proceed to the introduction of entrepreneurship. So, in this lesson, can you tell me what comes into your mind when you hear the word entrepreneur? What is an entrepreneur? Okay, so the word entrepreneur was derived from the French verb entreprendre, which means to undertake. So this is pinpointing to those who undertake the rest of enterprise. The enterprise is created by an entrepreneur and the process is called entrepreneurship. Kuha? I, I repeat, the word entrepreneur was derived from the French verb entrepreneur, which means to undertake. This is pinpointing to those who undertake the rest of enterprise. The enterprise is created by an entrepreneur and the process is called entrepreneurship. Okay, Koha. So entrepreneurs are innovators no? willing to take rest and generate new ideas to make it unique in profitable solutions to the present day problems. Usa daw ka entrepreneur willing nga mores in order to generate ideas and you make it profitable and present it to the market. So that is an entrepreneur. So what are those relevance of entrepreneurship to an organization? Number one is development of managerial capabilities. So what do you mean by that? This means that one of the benefits of an entrepreneur gets is to develop his managerial skills. No? So that is the relevance of an entrepreneurship to an organization. Okay, so... Second is creation of organization. Gahimo kag imong grupo organization. So when we talk about organization, that is group of people, no, working together in order to achieve a certain goal. So that is what we call organization. So second relevance of entrepreneurship is the creation of organization. So, which means that because of entrepreneurships, many organizations will exist. No? Third, improving standard of living. So, this means that entrepreneurship can lift up the economic status of an individual. No? Can lift up. Masinso. Parihas akong pag umangkon. He is an entrepreneur. Na asya ay duha, kad, cake shop branch in Cagayan de Oro City. So, means that it lift up the economic status of an individual. No? 
kay Miklikman ang iyang dark, secret cake shop sa Cagayan de Oro City. He started at the age of 19, and now he's 23 years old. No? The owner, the baker, the designer of the dark, secret cake shop in Cagayan de Oro City, located in Gusa and in Puerto. Nasa branch dito. Kung makalaag mo. So, improving standard of living. Number four, means of economic development. This means that not only the life of the entrepreneur is improved, but also the society where the business is located. So, ano may ngamantag means of economic development? No? Okay, once you are an entrepreneur and you're creating an organization, meaning nakatabang ka sa komunidad or sa society because you may be able to uh, create jobs sa mga tao. No? So meaning your cake shops of your business need people to work for your organization para mulambo, di ba? So that is means of economic development. No? Atong tao nga nagtrabaho sa imo ang business or sa imo organization na imong gi-create, imong giswilduhan nakatabang sa imong business para mo grow, no? Sa iyang pagswildo nakatabang sab siya sa ato ang economic means of standard sa ato ang society. Kay ka kaswildo sila, moadto man to sila sa prince, moadto sila sa novo, moadto sila sa HGT muatos sila sa merkado kay mamalit man po sila, sila sa ilaang mga personal necessity needed sa atua. So meaning, you may be able to uplift the economic development of our society. Nasabtan? Okay. Okay, so let's proceed to the factors that affecting entrepreneurship. Number one is the personal factors which includes A, initiative. So, initiative, which means doing things even before being told. So, an initiative is the start of something with hope that it will continue. Business start initiatives all the time. So, you can also talk about initiative as a personal quality. A person with initiative is motivated to do things. If you take the initiative, you're willing to get things done on your own. Letter B is the proactive. So in Tagalog, sa proactive, maagap. Which means he can classify opportunity and seize it. So that is someone who takes an active role in dealing with something before it needs to be taken care of. So, it occurs when you create solutions to your customers' problems before they ever occur. This could be a phone call alert customers about outages, a knowledge-based section of your website, or a frequently asked questions page. So, one example for that is the Facebook. No? So, Facebook, rather than rely on support tickets and inbound calls, Facebook gives customers several ways to solve their own problems, diba? So, in these examples, uh, there's questions you may have, what names are allowed on Facebook? How do I choose what I get notifications about? Where can I find my Facebook settings? How do I change or reset my Facebook password? Why am I seeing an error message saying I can't reply to a conversation on Facebook? Diba? So the social media giant provides content on their site that answers frequently asked questions and walks user through some of the system's features. So its dynamic help section provides documentation on various topics along with site overviews for new users. Tours of new features are also made available whenever they roll out. No? So, mauna itong makita sa Facebook. So, through Facebook, example and success, we can see that users 
want to be able to learn as they go and figure things out firsthand. So that is an example of a proactive. Number letter C is the problem solver. So which means he can retain good relations with other people. So example, in customer service, you might find an, a scenario like, how would you handle an angry customer? Or how would you respond when a customer asks for a refund? So how are you going to solve for that? So practicing how you might handle this or other scenarios common in your industry can help you call upon solutions quickly when they arise on the job. Letter D is perseverance, meaning he will pursue things to get done regardless of challenges. So you have to be persevere in everything that you do, especially when you're doing your business. Letter E is persuasion. So persuasion means that he can entice people to buy even if they don't. So how are you going to persuade people to buy your products? No? Persuasion. Letter F as a planner. A planner meaning he makes plan before doing things and do not fail to monitor it. So every time that you're doing your business as an entrepreneur, you have to make a plan ahead before doing it. And then letter G is a risk taker. So a risk taker, which means that he is willing to gamble, but he will calculate it first, no? So as an entrepreneur, you have to risk all of your effort. No? We do not know what will happen in the near future, but you have to take the risk no matter what will be the outcome in the near future. So that would be uh, one of the factors that affecting entrepreneurship. And then number two, we have environmental factors, which include political, climate, legal system, economic and social conditions, and market situations. So why is it that we included one of the factors affecting entrepreneurship is the environmental factors? Because we have to consider the area or the place that we are about to do business. No? Like for example, Jollibee, you're planning to put up a Jollibee. So what would be the ideal uh, place uh, if we're going to put up uh, Jollibee? So it is ideal nga dito ka sa Sibukal mag-put up ang Jollibee. So environmental factors are very important. So the climate, dili ba na baha on diha, dili ba na sige bagihon diha, no? So, that would be the e scenario that we have to consider in uh, business. So, as an entrepreneur, you have to be uh, optimistic enough to consider your place of your uh, business. Okay? So, na sabtandra. Okay, so let's proceed to the common competences in entrepreneurship. Kung maingon galitag common competences in entrepreneurship, common is usual, no? Or karaniwang. Competences, kakayahan sa pagnenegosyo. So, common competences in entrepreneurship. Usual or karaniwang kakayahan sa pagnenegosyo. So, number one, is decisive. So, kung sa Tagalog pa, mapagpasya. So, ang usak ka decisive, an entrepreneur must be firm in making decisions. So, the decision-making process involves identifying a goal, getting the relevant and necessary information, and weighing the alternatives in order to make a decision. Kung imulan tawon, the concepts sounds simple, yet many people overlook some of the critical stages and risks that occur when making decisions. So, ang usa or usual nga kariniwang kakayahan sa pagnedigusyo is you have to be decisive. So, you must be firm in making your decision. Second is communicator. So, Kung sa Bisaya pa, tabian or tagapagbalita in Tagalog. So, ang usa ka usual or kakayahan 
sa pagnegosyo is an entrepreneur must have a convincing power, communicator. So, second, third, I'm sorry, leader. So, pinuno, an entrepreneur must have the charisma to be obeyed by his employees. So, the entrepreneurial leader takes responsibility for their action. And those actions must be more proactive than reactive. So, they think an innovative way and in working with a diverse group of people and resources to achieve this goal. So, sa uh, usual nga kakayahan is usakaka pinuno. Number four is opportunity seeker. So, an entrepreneur must have the ability to be the first to see business chances. No? So, kung usa ka entrepreneur you are curious and always on the lookout for these opportunities and finding out whether they could do something out of this opportunity instead of being discouraged. So, the entrepreneur, usa ka entrepreneur is able to use these problematic situations as inspiration for creating something innovative. No? So, you are an opportunity seeker. Number five is proactive. Kung sa Tagalog pa, maagap. So, individual who tend to be proactive have a disposition geared toward taking intentional action. They don't wait for others to make decisions or decide their future for them. So, they create their own path. So, proactive you have to control a situation by making things to happen or by preparing for possible future problems. Number six is a risk taker. Kung sa Tagalog pa, nanganganib na ng panganib or marka bahala. Hasta la vista, baby. No? Bahala na ni. So, you have the courage to pursue your business ideas. So, a risk taker is someone who risks loss or injury in the hope of gain or excitement or accepts greater potential for loss in decisions and tolerates uncertainty. So, risk takers, people, are the one can excel in business. No? Marka bahala. Pero, you have to gain something in return. Number seven is you have to be innovative. So, makabago ka, no? So, you are an innovative. So, innovation is about the process and organization needed to generate ideas in any context. So, the entrepreneurs have big business ideas and they do not stop improving and thinking of new worthwhile for their business. No? So, you have to be innovative always. So, maunay usual or common kakayahan sa pag negosyo. Okay, so let's proceed to the core competencies in entrepreneurship. Kung may yung galitag core, sentro or kaibuturan. No? Sentro sa kakayahan sa pag negosyo. So, there are four core competencies that we have to consider. Number one is economic and dynamic activity. So, entrepreneurship is an economic activity because it involves the creation and operation of an enterprise with a view to creating value or wealth by ensuring optimum utilization of scarce resources. So, this value creation activity is performed and continuously in the midst of uncertain business environment. So, hence, entrepreneurship is regarded as a dynamic force. On sa manang dynamic force, dynamic force is a process of vision change and creation. So, it requires an application of energy and passion towards the creation and implementation of new ideas and creative solutions. Okay. Second is innovative. So, entrepreneurs constantly look for new ideas 
Thus, he needs to be creative. So, entrepreneurship involves a continuous search for new ideas. It compels an individual to continuously evaluate the existing modes of business operation so that more efficient and effective systems can be evolved and adapted. So, in other words, entrepreneurship is a continuous effort for synergy to ensure optimization of performance in organizations. Third is profit potential. So, may huntag profit potential, the entrepreneur can be compensated by his profit coming from the operation. So, this is the level of return compensation to the entrepreneur for taking on the rest of developing an idea into an actual business venture. Without profit potential, the efforts of entrepreneurs will be merely an abstract and a theoretical leisure activity. Kuha. Number four is rest bearing. So the entrepreneur needs to go gamble but wise enough to offset the rest. So the essence of entrepreneurship is the willingness to assume rest arising from the creation and implementation of new ideas. New ideas are always tentative and their results may not be instantaneous and positive. Okay, so nakuha. So an entrepreneur has to be, to have patience to see his or her efforts bear fruit. So in the intervening period, the time gap between the conception and implementation of an idea and its results, an entrepreneur has to assume rest, no? Mugambol sa good. If an entrepreneur does not have the willingness to assume rest, he or she will never be succeed. So that would be our core competencies in entrepreneurship. Okay, so let's proceed to the types of entrepreneurs. So depending upon the level of willingness to create innovative ideas. So here are the following types of entrepreneurs. Number one is innovative entrepreneur. So they are those who always make new things by thinking of new ideas. They have the ability to think newer, better, and more economical ideas. So these entrepreneurs have uh, the ability to think newer. So they are the business leaders and contributors to the economic development of a country. Interventions like the introduction of a small car, nano by Ratan Tata, organized retailing by Kishore Biani and making mobile phones available to the common man by Anil Ambani are the works of innovative entrepreneurs. Second, we have imitating entrepreneurs. So these entrepreneurs are people who follow the path shown by innovative entrepreneurs. They imitate innovative entrepreneurs because the environment in which they operate is such that it does not permit them to have creative and innovative ideas on their own. So such entrepreneurs are found in countries and situations marked with weak industrial and institutional base which create difficulties in initiating innovative ideas. In the Philippines, a large number of such entrepreneurs are found in every field of business activity and they fulfill their need for achievement by imitating the ideas introduced by innovative entrepreneurs. So development of small shopping complexes is the work of imitating entrepreneurs. So all the small car manufacturers now are imitating entrepreneurs. So they are those who don't create new things but only follow the ideas of other entrepreneurs. So they are the imitating entrepreneurs. The third one is the Fabian entrepreneurs. So these um, types of entrepreneurs are skeptical about the changes to be made in the organization. They do not initiate any inventions but follow only after they are satisfied with its success rate no 
Musunod ra na sila. They wait for some time before the innovation becomes well tested by others and do not result in a huge loss due to its failure. So, kani si Fabian, sigurista ni siya. No? May click na gali ng uh, klase ng business. No? All they have to do is to follow. So, that is what we call Fabian Entrepreneurs. Number four is Drone Entrepreneurs. So, Drone Entrepreneurs is a person who lives on the labors of others. Drone Entrepreneurs are those individuals who are satisfied with the existing mode and speed of business activity and show no inclination in gaining market leadership. Sa laktod ng kapagka-istorya, in other words, drone entrepreneurs are die-hard conservatives even ready to suffer the loss of business. Number five is social entrepreneurs. So, social entrepreneurs drive social innovation and transformation in various fields including education, health, human rights, workers' rights, environment, and enterprise development. They undertake poverty alleviation objectives and dare to overcome traditional business practices and innovate with the zeal of an entrepreneur. Cecilio Pedro developed multi-flavored toothpastes for children that, come, that came brightly packaged in tubes and boxes adorned with Sesame Street characters. Today, the market for the budget-friendly toothpaste brands are expanded to neighboring countries like China, Vietnam, and Indonesia. Indonesia. No? So, the low-price toothpaste was not the only strategy that look Lamoyan Corporation to the height of success. The company was loaded for having the most outstanding program for equal employment opportunity by providing work opportunities to the country's hearing impaired community members. So Lamoyan's employment program includes free housing for more than 30 deaf mute staff while the company's managers are required to learn sign language as a means of communicating with the hearing impaired staff so since the founding of the lamoyan corporation about 180 deaf mute students have received a free college education through deaf D-E-A-F, which stands for Deaf Evangelistic Alliance Foundation. It was founded and chaired by Cecilio K. Pedro, D-E-A-F, which was officially recognized by the Philippine Government's Department of Education. So that is what we call social entrepreneurs. Okay, so let's proceed to the last part of our lesson about the career opportunities of entrepreneurship. So, uh, what could be your career opportunities for entrepreneurship graduates? If ever you have uh, the courage to pursue businesses or you become an entrepreneurial degree. So, given below is only a snapshot of what can be done by some with an entrepreneurial degree. So all of this can be a source for valuable insights and hands-on experiences that can be used either for career growth or for becoming a more effective leader. It can also be a requisite of deciding to put up one's own business. Number one to consider as a career is a business consultant. So, pwede kang mamahimong business consultant. Unsa may buhaton kung mahimo kang business consultant. So, businesses today need consultants who can go to a client site, identify problems, and fix them. That is what an entrepreneur does. And that is why this job is perfect opportunity. So, entrepreneurship graduates are trained to help identify things that others may not pick up they are also trained to know how to fix them so with the expertise of the off in the field of entrepreneurship he can be a very good source of advices to other entrepreneurs and would be a businessman so pwede ka mahimong a business consultant second is a teacher so a graduate of an entrepreneurship can use his knowledge in 
teaching. So those with intermediate degree are qualified to teach the core subjects in senior high school and teach students the entrepreneurial skills so like me. So I am not an education graduate. I graduated Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in management. Uh, I got only uh, 18 units of a professional uh Prof. Ed, professional education, so that I could be able to take a board exam for teachers. No, so I am not an education graduate, but I became a teacher of uh, this course entrepreneurship in a senior high school uh, department. So you can also teach like me on the benefits of math to business history to innovation and literature to persuasive adver. So we are not an educator, but we are able to teach um, entrepreneurship or businesses in a senior high school department. So like me. And then we have also the researcher. So the entrepreneur can be employed as a researcher by an enterprise. Pwede sa kamahin mong researcher. And then number four, you can also be a sales. So the entrepreneurship graduate can apply as salesman. So nga nung mga can apply in a salesman. So entrepreneurship graduate can work in sales or run the department of any businesses. It is a requirement for entrepreneurship graduates to have know-how to represent a company, manage accounts, and follow up on leads. So mahimo kang sales representative, no? Pwede ka ditong dapita po. And then we have also number five, a business reporter. So the entrepreneur being expert in the field, he can be employed as a business reporter. So pwede ka mga apply dito sa EBS, CBN, or GMA. So entrepreneurship graduates can write articles or pick up a quick class to learn how to write article. They can take a prime position to take the lead in covering a local business bit. So understanding the field and concepts of business can be used to make the business section much Much more interesting and appealing. So that's end with our entrepreneurship introduction of our subject. Do you have any questions or clarification regarding with our topic, introduction of entrepreneurship? If you have some questions, you can PM me directly, or you can go to our group chat you can message there or uh, you can call me anytime no? so you can reach me 24 hours no? to answer all your um, qu queries or questions regarding with our uh, subject entrepreneurship so All you have to do is you have to answer the activity one and activity two. So na ay deadline din ha ako ng kibutang since our topic is good for two weeks. So ah, pwede niyo isubmit October six tanan ang duha ka activity. And then another um, requirements nga akong pangayonin niyo. Um, all you have to do is to like and sub subscribe my YouTube channel, no? So that would be my number one uh, requirement. And then second is you have to take a pic while watching my video lesson. Okay? Muna akong proof nga taglantaw yun mo sa ko ang klase. Okay? So, nagkasinabot ah. Okay, so I hope that everybody is in good condition, no? I pray that God uh, will always guide all of you and protect you from uh, diseases that we encounter at this moment no so stay safe mo mga palangging mga palangga mga anak no ayaw mo pag laang kay health is well so once again good morning and have a nice day to each and every one of you
bye bye and god bless